Hello everyone, welcome back to the Genomics Bootcamp. Today we will be talking about a very relevant topic about how to read a scientific paper. If you think the best method is to start at its beginning and end at its end, then you are very wrong, my friend. At least as wrong as I was before reading this wonderful paper from uh, Professor Keshaw about, well, how to read the scientific paper. I will do a brief summary in this video, but I really warmly suggest that you just download and read this paper yourself because there is more to it than I will be talking about in this video. You can find it very easily just by googling or I will put also down the link in the description of this video. This paper describes a method of reading papers, which it calls practical and efficient three-pass method for reading research papers. And you might think of how is three, reading something three times more efficient than reading it once. Now, the trick is that all three readings have a different purpose as it will be described later on in this paper and also in this video. So what is the problem? The thing is, if you read the papers from beginning to its end, then it takes a lot of time. And also at the end of the reading, you might find out that this was not really what you wanted. And basically you just wasted a lot of time on something that is not too relevant to your purpose. So therefore there is this three pass method that actually cuts down on this time and lets you decide very early in this process if paper that you are reading is relevant for you or not. There is also a description about this in the paper, which is basically saying that each pass accomplishes specific goals and builds upon the previous pass. The first pass gives you a general idea about the paper. The second pass lets you grasp the paper's content, but not its details. And the third pass helps you understand the paper in depth. So I would briefly talk about all of these uh, three passes. So the first one should take you five to 10 minutes and consists of the following steps. So the first one, a first step in here is to carefully read the title, the abstract and the introduction of the paper. Then read the section and the subsection headings. So not the content, but just the headings, but ignore everything else. Also then read the conclusions. And finally, glance over the references and mentally ticking off the ones that you have already read. So basically a five, 10 minute kind of procedure with the very strictly defined steps. At the end of this first step, after let's say 10 minutes, you should be able to answer the following questions. So the category of the paper. So basically which category it belongs to, what is the context of the paper? So how is this paper that you are reading related to the other papers that you have read? And also what is the theoretical basis of that paper? The third point could be the correctness. If by your judgment, the assumptions that the paper you are reading, if they are correct. The fourth point, what are the paper's main contributions? And the fifth point, if it is well written in general. So based on these points, after these 10 minutes, you should be able to tell if this paper is relevant for you and if you decide to go further. Here I would underline, very strongly underline, that it's indeed okay to put down a paper. So even if it's written by the top expert in your field, but it's just not what you're looking for, it's okay to put it down and go further to look for something that you need. So after this, go through, decide yes or no, and if, if yes, then you go further to the second step or the second pass of the reading. So the second pass uh, should take about an hour and it is a bit more ambiguous. So basically what you're concentrating on is the paper itself, especially well that you are able to basically at the end of the second pass, you should be able to explain what is the paper about. You might not understand everything in it or you know you don't go into super great details but you have to be able to tell what are the contents and the main results of the paper also you should take particular note of the 
graphs and tables so basically just to see if they are proper and also because many times the main results are actually summarized on these graphs and in these tables so pay particular attention to them also actually the references part is quite important and you could actually tick off some of the papers that you already read but also that you plan reading further so if if this paper that you're reading refers to something that seems important then perhaps you should look at that paper next so as i said the second pass is a bit more ambiguous in terms of how to proceed but basically goes through in reasonable detail i would say at the end of the second pass you might do one of the three things so you went through the paper and you understood more or less what this is about. Now you can set the paper aside with the hope that you don't need to understand it fully. And that's okay. The second possibility is that you put the paper aside with the intention to return to the paper, perhaps later when you are read more, more about the topic and or you understand the general topic more or you can preserve and go on to the, sex, to the third pass of the reading right away. And the third pass itself is the, really the thorough reading of the paper line by line where you need to look at everything and you need to understand everything that is written there. Now I have to say normally especially if you are kind of doing kind of a literature review type of thing or you know just want to get into the topic the first and the second path is okay so you don't need to do a thorough reading of i don't know 150 research papers to get into a, a topic in a, in a very deep way if you're just starting so uh, this third path is really reserved to the papers that you really really need to to understand or really, really want to understand so in this case then you have to read it with a great attention to detail and also you identify and challenge every assumption and every statement in the paper so that you understand why is why are the things done and, and how are the things done in there and unsurprisingly, this takes time. So if you do this, then expect a three to five hour time investment for a single paper. Of course, with time it gets better. Well, in this, uh, in this, this paper says that it, it's an hour for an experienced reader. Uh, I'm not so certain. So I, I'm, maybe I'm not an experienced reader, but I, I doubt that it could be done in an hour. But anyway, so let's say several hours of time investment is needed and if you are starting with something just count on three three four hours three four five hours so and that's it so this is how you go through three times a paper to decide if you need it or how, or how much you need from it as i mentioned this uh, two page uh, or two and a half page document is very informative so i really suggest you to go and download this pdf and read it in detail so this is this one you can read fully uh, from from start to the to the finish because it's quite short and it's very informative also it has some other parts that uh, i am not going to discuss here for example doing a literature survey or or some other things other pointers that are mentioned in this paper so yeah so that's I, I just leave that one to your curiosity to read this uh, read these parts so again a paper about how to read the paper very informative and i suggest very much that you read this one to improve your further experience and your the speed at which you can read the papers in the future from my side for today this was everything I thank you for your time and wish you a really nice day.